Okay, so uh, we're, we're at a water the, uh, tower here on Miramar Road, just walking into the job site. Walking into the job site. And we're Fixed. testing out our expansion tank. Expansion tank. So we're opening this up, uh, opening both nozzles up uh, counterclockwise. And we notice something here. This is full. There's no air here. So that's telling us that our tank is full. Yes, sir. And it, it's full of water. It doesn't have any air in it. So I'm noticing if you come close. Uh huh. I'm noticing there's a leak there. Yeah, we also have a leak at our stem. Right at our stem. I'm going to give that a tighten. Okay. So, so it's now, not leaking anymore. So it stops it a little bit. Okay. Now, the possibility is getting waterlogged because air is coming into the system. So, isolate. First things first, we isolate. What we're doing is isolating this tank. Okay. We're isolating by turning the ball valve closed. We open the, the valve. We're all going to open the spigot. It looks like a spigot, but it's a valve. Yeah, yeah gonna, spigot valve. Yeah, but we're going to, it's a type of valve, and we're going to just get the water out of there. Okay. Okay. So. You're making me look bad on YouTube. Go no, on. no, you're fine because you didn't realize that that was uh, so old. Yeah, I mean you're dealing with some old stuff here, man, and you're you're making it work. So you're making miracles happen. Oh, California gold. Yeah. All right, so there you go. Look at that. We're just letting it all go. Just letting it all hang go. out. Now, so now another thing we're gonna do to allow it to to properly flow, mm -hmm. we take this little part off. Okay. Look at all that air and water coming out. All that pressure. You know, there's no more, no more water in the tube. It's all empty now. You just emptied it out, and it's all going to go out that way. Okay. So all the all the water is going to go out that way. So we're going to dump out this expansion tank. Okay. Okay. And you just let it dump out. See. You'll start seeing it. Yeah, look at it. It's You'll rising. Start seeing, the, it rising? start seeing the level there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. It'll go full, and then it'll just start doing its thing. You see that, folks? Isn't that amazing? I'm going to get my paperwork out yeah, of the way here. Paperwork. Let's make sure this part right here uh -huh. is very important. Okay. Okay. We lose that, we're screwed. We can't fucking. Uh, we cannot this. lose that. We cannot lose that. Now you don't need any Teflon tape to put on there, do you? Nothing. You just go ahead and screw it on. It's self sealing. Self sealing. Self. Excellent. So Excellent. what we're gonna do when we? So right now we're discharging this expansion tank. Okay. When we open up the water, we're gonna recharge it. I want to get some bubbles and throw it on these valves. Okay. Just to test out where this is leaking from. There's a possibility that air could be seeping out of the actual body of this expansion tank due to its rust. There's bubbles all over the place. All right, what we're it, looking at here, yeah. It bubbles. could be that there's just stem leaks. The gaskets get get worn. Well, you, you know, you noticed a you noticed a <coughs> stem leak right here. Yes. Right off the bat, right off the you bat. saw that, yes. and then you you went ahead and just tightened it up. But you know that that's probably an issue that's, that you're gonna have to we're gonna have to do it. And if there's nothing there, then there's a possibility somewhere on this tank there might be a leak. I got you. Because they are seeping out somewhere. Exactly. That's the only reason this expansion tank would get water left. Okay. Is because air is seeping out. We're supposed to have about a quarter of space of air cushion. A you know, a third, you say maybe a or third. about a third, a quarter, a third. Uh, you yeah. know, uh -huh. you just want the water to be able to just expand within that cushion. I got you. When it's not air seeping out, then there is nowhere to expand. You know, yeah. the reason these are here is to prevent any of these pipings. I mean, the temperature rises, you know what I mean, and it drops and it rises, and, and water has a tendency to expand according to temperature. You know, Correct. What I mean? yeah. So Obviously, we have PVC and we have older PVC, brittle PVC, possible potential of breaking, blowing up. Because you when know. you have those bubbles in there, that it creates, creates a, a greater, pressure. higher PSI, and yes. that, that's going to cause a lot of problems, yes. especially with the older PVC we have. Now, folks, if you want to take a look at this, this doesn't look like PVC from a distance. 
It looks like metal, but guess what? It's it's actually PVC. What would you say this is, Junior? Schedule 80? Schedule 80. Schedule 80 PVC is what we like to call it. Um, pretty thick stuff, but uh, not as not as strong as metal, but it can expand and contract uh, a little bit. A little bit flexible, I guess the word is what I'm looking for right now. Now we're finishing up uh, draining this tank off. You can tell. We'll, we'll record again when we fill it. And we're going to record when we fill it, folks. Uh, we'll be right back with you. It'll be a three or four part series today on a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday in, in, in cloudy Kearney Mesa. We're in Miramar. Oh, I'm sorry. We're in Miramar. <laughs> Never mind. Excuse me. Sorry. Didn't know there was a difference, but. Because <laughs> it's just so beautiful. <laughs> All right. Uh...